Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today we're going to be doing a very quick video and I'm going to be doing a rice pudding which is called kheer and um, this video I have in Gujarati and I don't have it in English so I'm just getting caught up with all the ones that I don't have either of them and I'm shooting those first. So for the kheer, now the, there is a puri recipe already that goes with the kheer. We usually eat the kheer and puri together. So the puri recipe is already on YouTube. It's an English version. So I will put up a link right up here and you can go to that video and see it. Although I will be doing puris today and I'll show you how I'm going to be serving it with the kheer. And um, I'm also going to be making a potato curry today because today's meal is going to be at home that we're going to have is the kheer the puri and the potato curry and I just love these three combinations and I usually whenever I make potato curry I have to have kheer and puri and I love having it with both so just uh, if you want you can also check the video out of the potato curry so this is going to be a very simple video I'm going to quickly browse uh, just breeze through it okay so here I have one cup of rice that I had um, soaked you can soak it overnight i soaked it by you know about four hours doesn't have to be now you can see here that the kernels are super small and what you want to do is when you soak your rice clean it then you feel like it's clean just soak it and then in the soaked water go ahead and just kind of crush it with your hand the crushing is just going to crush it and it's going to be just easier to um, cook and faster to cook so as you see here even right now when i'm doing it with my hand i'm crushing it even more so you just want to do that that's a little trick that i use and um, the kheer just really turns out great and it cooks pretty fast So I've let this cook for about eight minutes and you want to use a bigger pot. I made a mistake by using a smaller pot. You want to use a bigger pot because the, uh, the rice is going to expand a little bit. And you just need it to give it some room. So now I, I just gave it a little taste test and my rice is about 75% cooked. So at this point now I'm going to go ahead and add the one two three yeah that's eyeballing okay now you also want to do a taste test in the end because you can always add a bit more um sweetened condensed milk in here if you feel like your kheer or rice pudding is too thick go ahead and add a little bit more milk in there it you know it doesn't hurt it also will depend what kind of rice you use i used the regular rice that i use at home for cooking so um, it really will depend on what kind of rice you use. The next thing we are going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my um, slivered, uh, uh, slivered 
almonds in here but I'm gonna just leave a little bit of the sliver uh, almonds for the garnish and I added the um, sliced onion uh, sliced almonds as well in here all right the other thing we're going to do is put in just a couple drops of rose essence so for those who don't like rose essence leave it out but somebody like me gosh I love rose essence yummy so and my mom hates it so it really depends all right give that a good stir and add my cardamom powder in there now what I am going to do with the um, with the with the saffron here is just put in just a little bit of that hot milk don't need much I just want to use that to crush it this is going to get the maximum color out of it. Okay. See how much color we got out of there? Okay. also want to completely clean this off because saffron is so expensive and you don't want to waste any of it and nothing does a better job than your fingers for this Look at how beautiful of a light yellow color we're gonna have in this. And it's all saffron, it's no art artificial color in here. It smells super, super amazing. So at this point, again, I don't wanna cover it. I'm just, I just wanna cook it, but if you're, you're in a rush, go ahead and cover it. Um, I'm just gonna let it cook again until I feel that the rice is completely cooked. And then we're gonna be doing a quick taste test and I'll show you how I'm gonna be serving it with my puris. So our kheer is ready, our um, rice pudding is ready, and also I made potato curry, so if you haven't watched that video, make sure you do so. This is my uh, very simple potato curry that I have made, um, and this is actually our meal, so I kind of wanted to show you how we're going to have dinner today. So I've got the big puris that I made, and those are going to be eaten with the curry with the potato curry then I have these really tiny really cute little puris that are going to be eaten with the rice um, rice pudding so now I'm going to show you um, how I am going to eat this back home this is how we used to eat it so you have this puri you make a little hole in it you take your here you put it right in the middle and then you make yourself a really tiny mini taco like this see and this is how we used to give it as a offering um, and I remember this uh, so clearly like it happened yesterday so so many nice um, amazing memories we give this a try really good I'll tell you the reason. When you eat this rice pudding, when you buy it ready-made, it's super sweet. And you can't customize it by putting your cardamom and your um, saffron in it and also the rose essence in it. This is customized to what you like. This is customized to what I like. It is not super sweet, so I feel like I can eat um, a good amount of it and not feel like, you know, really super sweet um, um, in my mouth so it's it's just light and it's fragrant and super delicious please give this a try and if you do 
anything that you do, anything that you make, I would really, really appreciate if you can take a picture and put it on Instagram or tweet me a photo, hashtag Rihanna's Cuisines, and I will be super happy. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.